You know, it's actually, uh, it's really fascinating how grand of a difference a two, two years can make. If you've been watching me from the very beginning, this was day 45. Yes, I remember that far back. Well, then again, when you do this every day, you're, you are likely going to remember this. This video I remember feeling really good about after I was done. Because it was actually something that I really got relatively, you know, into, let's say. I mean, at the time I made that video, you know, it was Ash Wednesday, which means Lent began, so can't have me on Fridays anymore. It was cold. I was single on Valentine's Day. And we had just begun to live in a universe where the Philadelphia Eagles had won the Super Bowl. I'm still traumatized by that, by the way. So, needless to say, at the time you'd be thinking, I'd be feeling pretty, pretty down. When I actually had to complete 180 and said, no, I'm not going to feel this way. And if you're single on Valentine's Day, you shouldn't either. Now, again, that was two years ago. And again, it's a pretty grand difference between then and now. I mean, for example, it's not Ash Wednesday. In fact, Lent hasn't even started yet. Although I should probably take an opportunity to point out that today is a Friday before Lent starts. So be sure to get your meat fix in today and next Friday because not even two weeks from now, Lent begins. Just want to put it out there. Also, you know, you know, it's Friday, which, you know, it's the weekend. So that's already different from two years ago. Um... Sadly, we still do live in a universe where the Eagles have won the Super Bowl, but they haven't won one since. So, that's different. Really, outside of the fact that I'm still single, a lot's really changed in the last two years. You know, again, new place. You know... I do more content with the videos I make. But again, the one thing that's still the same is the fact that, you know, I'm single on Valentine's Day. But if I learned anything from two years ago, and even what I said last year, it's that I'm not going to let that get me down. And if you're single... You shouldn't let that get you down either. Yes, it is Valentine's Day. This is the holiday that, you know, we associate the terms and the concepts of love the most. So, if you don't feel any love to any capacity, it'd be easy for me to say that, oh, you have no soul, which, of course, you do. Everyone has a soul. But the message I still will always bring home and to be perfectly honest, even if I wasn't single, this is what I would still tell you. Because I really do feel it's important. You know, yes. The fact that, you know, we're today we're celebrating a holiday that embodies the spirit of all things love and heart-shaped and red and pink and chocolate and flowers and all that stuff. It's easy to... It's easy to feel down and out when, you know, as a single guy, you can't really feel that way. But there's a reason why I don't let it get me down. Even when, by all accounts, one would argue that I should. And that's because, well, for me, one thing that really helps is the fact that, you know, I am a glass half full kind of guy. I really do think optimistically. 
I hope that's a word. And, you know, I do try and maintain a positive attitude, which you would think is easy when really it's not. You know, if, if it's not one thing negative that's happening, it's a hundred thousand other things going on in the world. But what I tend to focus on on Valentine's Day is, you know, I like to pay attention and be happy for those who do experience love on a day like this, who are not single on Valentine's Day, you know, who are either in a relationship or happily married with children, you know, I like to take that time to be happy for them. You're probably thinking, well, okay, well, Nick, how does that help you? Well, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, if you're thinking, well, oh, if I'm happy for somebody, if I'm happy for someone else experiencing love, I'm going to experience love myself. Well, in a way that, I mean, it does kind of work that way, but in the grand scheme of things, not really. You know, if I'm happy, I mean, Yes, I have lots of friends who are, again, not single, happily married, have a family, all that. And I'm not going to say that I actively, you know, inspire to be like them. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people can agree with this as well. If you spend time comparing your relationships with the relationships of other people, they're going to be doomed to fail. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. So, yes, I would like to be in a relationship one day. But if I ever am, I'm not going to compare myself to the likes of this couple over here or that couple over there. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be in the moment with the very person that I am happy to be with. And they will be the most important person in my life. I will be happy to do that, and that's what I would do. Although, that being said, if I wasn't single on Valentine's Day, and if I did have a date, I would totally make them dinner, because that's the romantic thing to do. And, you know, I would totally get them you know, flowers, and, hmm. I actually was about to say I would get them chocolate, but since I'd be making dinner, I would also be making dessert as well. So, that would sort of count as... Eh, oh my kidding, women in the audience. Women are watching this day. You know you're making you're getting both chocolates and you're making dessert. <laughs> yeah, let's be honest, that's pretty much all women want. On Valentine's Day. I mean again, I am a single guy and I am the last person who should ever be giving any kind of advice on what love is. But I do know that there is give and take in any relationship. So, if one day I am in a relationship myself, I know I'm not going to screw it up. Because I will have seen what, you know, other people in my life have done when they're in a relationship. And if I feel it's appropriate to follow what they do, I will. If I see something where I'm thinking, okay, that looks good, but I don't feel quite comfortable doing that. You know, that's the good thing about being in a relationship. Communication. You know, just because someone else is doing something doesn't mean you have to do it. You know, it's your life. You're spending it with someone else who you are happy to be with. Why would you, uh, why would you ever complain? So, yes. If you take anything from this video, it's... You should take the time to be happy for those who do know what love is, who are in a relationship, you'd be surprised how much better you'll feel too. I mean, again, this is something I've always done my entire life. I mean, 30 years in a row, single on Valentine's Day. Oh, well. Here's the hoping that, you know, a year from now, that streak ends. Well, again, here's the hoping. So, 
Now that's taken care of. Let's talk about uh, yesterday, shall we? Um, Zoe Kravitz on Hot Ones. It was awesome. And, you know, I actually learned a lot of stuff about Zoe that, uh, you know, that I wouldn't have known otherwise. Like, um, you know, she grew up vegan. Although she's not vegan anymore. She is trying to be better. Hence why they did, in fact, have the, uh, the vegan chicken wings that I, uh, pointed out when I talked about, uh, when I talked about yesterday. So that's really cool. <laughs> Um, before I continue on, let me just say, Zoe Kravitz is tough as nails, because no water, no milk, no beer, she owned it, man, like, holy cow, like, seriously, I don't know what it was, but, man, she crushed it, um, other other stuff she talked about is um like how social media really has taken stuff something like Burning Man in which originally they didn't have like cell phone service or anything like that and now you have you know social media Instagram stars that are rich enough to have like five star chefs come and you know make food for them although that is the one thing that is true if you're gonna have a five star chef come to something like Burning Man. And you're, they're going to make food for you. You should have them make food for other people too. I mean, come on. There's going to be a lot. There's a, I have never been to Burning Man. But I do know that a lot of people go. I mean, so that being said, I have no aspirations of going as of right now. Again, you know, maybe being big and rich and famous doing these videos. I don't know. Well, that being said, though, if I was in like Burning Man, I would I wouldn't totally be doing videos there. I mean, I don't know what I would do because that crowd is a little bit loose for what I would do or what I would normally do. But you now, seeing me in a crazy environment, you know, that wouldn't be bad, right? It would definitely bring a lot of entertainment value. So, yeah, that was uh, that was fun. Um, one I know one other thing I also learned about Zoe Kravitz is, and I think every single person can relate to this. Like, there is just a time in your life where you think that no matter what your parents do, like they're just not cool, and now. I mean, not as though you not as though you crowd things your parents are cool, but honestly, as soon as I heard it, I'm like, wow. I thought that too. I mean, not to the extent that, I mean, there were times where I'm like, yeah, my parents are kind of not cool, but not to the extent where like, oh, I never want to be seen by them. At least, not when I probably should have thought that. But, you know, now I think my parents are really nice. I do. You know, I'm glad I still have, you know, my parents. And, you know, I just alluded to, you know, being happy for the people who are in your life, who are in a relationship. You know what? I'm happy for my mother and father. You know, by my recollection, they've been married 37 years, I believe. It'll be 37 years this year. So... They're doing something right. Yeah, it'll be 30... Yeah, it'll be 37 years in October. So, yeah. All in all, you know, yeah. It'd be easy for me to be down and out on, you know, on the fact that, you know, I am single on Valentine's Day. And, yeah, it'd be even easier to make fun of me for the fact that, haha, you're not going to be... You're never going to know what love is. I'm not going to let that get to me. I'm certainly not going to ruin my day. You know, if you just take the time to think about the people in your life who are in a relationship, but also love you too. You know, be they family or fit or friends or all sorts of loved ones. If you take the time to remember that there are people in your life who do love you for who you are. 
you'll be surprised how much better you'll feel. Well, at least that's the mentality I like to keep. You can feel free to do whatever you want. You can feel free to not even listen to me. Just uh, throwing that out there. Like, for sure, hit that subscribe button, follow me on social media platforms, turn on those notifications on YouTube. I'm very humble to make this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for today. I hope we have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. And remember, if any of you guys ever want to talk with Chad, going to be here, to London here, I'll always be back. Take care and make good choices. Also, one final note. I said this earlier. Be sure to get your meat fixed in today because you only have this Friday and next Friday to do so. And... Hey, you know what? In two weeks, Rita's reopens. It can't be all bad, right? See ya.